Yeah, I think other than Robert Whitaker, Adesanya is going to be minus 300 or north of that against any of these 185 pounders. And I do believe that Duplessis is just getting started. Yes, Ma- uh, Mornay Visser is a great coach, but I do think more developmental time is needed. Yeah. I have talked to Duplessis about just getting a five round fight before he gets to a championship fight. And I think that's a big initiative for him. South Africa is not getting done in 2023. I think even 2024 is ambitious, but we'll see what happens. One thing that the Adesanya camp, though, has talked about is not trotting out one of these guys that he's fought before. And even though Paolo Costa and Marvin Vittori and Jared Cannonier are all riding winning streaks, those guys are not going to be next. I don't think a Whitaker trilogy is going to happen right now, even though certainly I would sign up to see that fight every day of the week. Some people have suggested that maybe Adesanya could move up to 205 right now and fight Jamal Hill. I think there's enough going on at light heavyweight where you don't need to inject Adesanya into the equation. But it is interesting because, as I said on Monday, for the first time in Adesanya's career, he didn't have any motivation to spin it forward on fight night. And as we've sort of outlined here, there isn't an obvious number one contender unless I'm missing someone. 